Hello everyone. Now let's get started with another very important topic in gastropods. That is the different shell forms found in gastropods. So here we will be looking at the different type of important shell forms that can be found in gastropods. Okay, so what are these shell forms? Okay, now the forms of the shell depends upon the spiral angle. I've told you like this is a gastropod. Okay, then here the sides of the spire converge here near the protoconch and this is known as your spiral angle. So the shell form depends upon the spiral angle, the number and shape of the holes. So this is, these are the holes. So how many holes are there? What is the shape of the holes? Okay, and size of the last hole. Somewhere you f you'll find that the last hole is bigger as compared to the spire. And somewhere we will find that it is shorter. Okay, so it depends upon the size of the last wall. That is your body wall where the animal resides. Then the fourth important factor is whether it conceals the earlier walls or not. See, here it means the last wall. So sometimes what happens, the last wall is so big that it conceals all your spire walls. Okay. So these are the four important factors upon which the forms of the shells depend. Okay, now we look at all the different forms which are found, found in gastropods. The first form is discoidal. Okay, now what is this discoidal shell form? Here the shell is planispirally coiled. What is planispirally? It means in one plane. The whole coiling of the shell is in one plane. It means the walls are in one plane so that the entire arrangement can be seen. See, the example is planorbis. This is a planorbis shell. You can see that the whole coiling is on one plane. It is not like this. The coiling is not like this. This coiling is actually known as helicoid. This uh, is known as helicoid. Okay, when the coiling is like this but when the coiling is in the same plane in one plane this is known as plane spiral okay so this plane spirally coil coiling is found in these planorbis and this type of uh, form is known as your discoidal see whole arrangement can be seen here like here in the helicoid one you can see only one part of the arrangement okay you, you can't see it properly. You have to see it from the top. Okay. But here whole arrangement of the fossil, the shell form can be seen. And it is in one plane. So this is discoidal. And the example is planorbis. The next important one is your trochiform. So in trochiform, the spire is sharp and acute. Acute. Okay. It's sharp and acute like this. The spire the sharp and acute and the sides of the spire are evenly conical see conical and the base is flat the base is flat example is troches trochiform example is troches so this is troches shell and you can see here the sides of the spire they are sharp and acute okay evenly conical and the base here is flat it is actually flat when you you'll take the shell in your hand you'll find that the base is flat okay now the next shell form is turbinate so turbinate is somewhat similar to trochiform it means the spire is acute and sharp it is uh, almost conical but only one difference can be found between turbinate and trochiform that is the base of trochiform is flat but the basis of terminate is convex see here the base is not flat like trochiform here the base is like somewhat convex okay the base is convex here example is turbo for turbinate example is turbo for trochiform what was the example the example was troches itself okay so this is another shell form the next important shell form is turreted Okay, so in turreted shell forms, 
what happens here there are numerous holes okay so the number of holes found here is so much you can see here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and so on so this is the you know you can see when we compare it to the turbinate trochiform discoidal and all you can see as compared to them there are numerous holes present in this one okay so the spire is very long you can see the spire is actually very long okay see the apex very acute and sharp okay very acute and the body wall is very small see this is the body wall it is actually small when you compare it to other forms okay like this one was your trochi form so here body wall was actually you know somewhat bigger but here the body wall is small so in turreted form what happens there are numeral numerous holes the apex is sharp or basically you can say the spire is long numerous holes sharp apex and small body wall example is turretella for turreted example is turretella for turbinate what was the example turbo for trochi form what was the example troches and for turreted what is the example turretella the next important shell form is cylindrical so in cylindrical shell form you can see that after gradual increase in the diameter of the spire the diameter remain constant to it may reduce near the base now here what happens see in the spire what is the spire here this is the spire okay in the spire what is happening the uh, diameter of the spire it is first increasing here it is increasing then it reduces for some time it remains constant and near the base it reduces so in cylindrical what is happening at first the diameter of the spire increases then it remains constant and in near the base it may reduce it may reduce or it may remain constant also so example is voluta okay then you have globular shell form here the spire is very small and sharp look at the spire it is very small and it is sharp the body wall is large and round with round aperture look at the body wall very large it is round and the aperture is also round so this is globular so what is in globular spire is small and sharp body wall is large and round with round aperture example is natica the another shell form is fusiform okay here the shell is spindle shaped spindle shape you know spindle shape this is your spindle your spindle okay so at first near the bases the top and the base the diameter is small as compared to the middle portion so in the middle it is thick and near the top and the base it is it is as compared to the middle it is thinner so the shell is spindle shape the body wall is thick in the middle here in the middle you can have a look the body wall is thick this is the body wall okay here the body wall is thick in the middle and tapering near the bottom and the top look at the bottom look at the top what is see you can see a sh spindle shape here spindle shape so this is your fusy form your example is fusinus the next important shell form is convolute so in convolute the last wall of the shell covers all the previous walls you can can you identify here where is the spire where is the spire can you identify no why because the last wall the body wall has actually covered the previous walls and you cannot see where is the spire where are the previous walls present and the aperture with crenulated outer lip what is the meaning of crenulated it is irregular or wavy so you can see the lip it is you know it is wavy crenulated this is the aperture so the aperture with crenulated outer lip is as long as the shell this is the shell see the aperture see the outer lip it is just as the length like your shell so both have your same length that is why it is here saying the last wall of the shell covers all the previous walls and the aperture with crenulated outer lip is as long as the shell and your example is cypria then 
comes conical so in conical shell form what happens the spire is short you have a short spire have a look very short spire and the apex is sharp it is not properly visible here but the apex is sharp and the spire is very short see the body wall very large and the spire is very short the body wall is large conical with parallel lips see it is conical cone like shape and see the lips they are parallel see the lips the lip here these are the lips they are parallel so you can see here in conical the spire is short the apex is sharp body wall is large conical with parallel lips and your example is conus so with this we have completed the important shell forms of gastropods in the next lecture we will looking up to the ornamentation found in gastropods thank you so much mm -hmm.